There are two kinds of theater-going cats hanging out in Louisville these days, those with tickets and those left out in the alley. These are the lucky cats, and in the lobby at the Center for the Arts, they were purring. Well, we were lucky. Our uh, daughter and son-in-law gave them to us as an anniversary present. But if you aren't a lucky cat, sometimes on the opening night of a Broadway hit, it helps to know a fat cat. Well, if you know people in high places, that's all it counts. That's all. Now, she uh, works down the state and knows a few connections, and that's what it takes. <laughs> in the what ad section, it's the same as the Kentucky Derby. For the top cat of the Broadway series, opening night meant scratching for tickets. People are really competing for the tickets, and I guess it's going to be a, a status symbol to have seen cats here in Louisville. Mm -hmm. Well, do you think it's going to live up to the expectation? I've seen the rehearsals, and yes, it does. It's a beautiful production. It's a wonderful young company, and it's brand new and fresh. We're only the seventh uh, city on this company's tour. And with the anticipation and the ticket prices of Broadway shows, nobody's going to be on the fence when it comes to reviewing this effort. And these exotic felines from the Broadway back alley can do anything. For instance, how about tap dancing cats? Or if a backyard chorus of cats is more up your alley. And for you younger cats, someone threw a little rock in this back lot. 